Welcome to another SafeHS podcast and this time around you can see a new package has arrived the Gemini PDA from Planet Computers a potential new device that can run SafeHS and I want to uh, do a quick unboxing of this special device because it's one of the few devices that feature a QWERTY keyboard features a QWERTY keyboard or QWERTS keyboard in my case um, and yeah this is the package basically as you can see here you can see the device itself uh, the world at your fingertips and uh, the Planet Computers logo on the side here and uh, the world at your fingertips here again so we can open it up and as you can see a nice presentation hello hola and so on um, bonjour as well as you can see here the QWERTY keyboard as well the display it's a pretty nice device as you can see here the first department of this uh, package you can see the device itself still packaged up as you can see a pretty heavy and pretty solid and pretty big device a six inch screen I guess it has something around 5.99 inch screen full HD resolution 18 to 9 ratio so a little bit longer we can take a look at this later let's see what's in the box as well so let me open erase this somehow can we erase this? So here we have, I think, the usual stuff necessary. Oh, a nice cloth here for, I think, for the keyboard maybe. A quick start guide. The usual paper works that you get with a new device. A quick start guide, which tells you all about the device. It's a special device, so it's very important to take a look at here and uh, the different instructions uh, that's this that's i think the invoice exactly from planet computers not interesting and then we have here somewhere the power cord the power adapter as you can see here usb power adapter and non at least I cannot read it because it's not very clear here with this plastic stuff on it but I think it has quick charge support or something like this fast charging uh, because it has a MediaTek processor in it in Helio X27 uh, that uses uh, I think 10 cores so two fast A Cortex A72 cores running at 2.6 gigahertz for Cortex R 53 cores running at 2 gigahertz and four lower cores uh, also codex r53 running at 1.6 gigahertz here you can see the uh, usb type c usb cable that comes within the box and i think this is everything for this device so no headphones as you can see here and there's i think there's nothing in the box uh, so let's get this out of the way and get this out of this plastic wrapping and here we have the device as you can see here uh, pretty nice pretty fine let's let's try to open it up uh, pretty sturdy here we have the device as you can see here with the screen and the keyboard and first impression let me put it down this way and let's try to type on this keyboard seems to be fine so the pressure points are a little bit weak but it's okay still uh, keys are a little bit fiddly here we'll see when i turn it on and start it if it's uh, going to work out let's see and take a look at the device from side to side you can see here this is the on key power on key also works if you have it close down you have microphones and uh, speakers on both sides so you can use this to answer calls or even engage an um, assistant to call someone and you can see USB type C and a speaker grill here on the other side as well USB type C I think this is a microphone there's a headphone jack 3.5 millimeters still available and another speaker so two speakers in here and you can see here Gemini by Planet Computers on the back and you can see if I open this up this 
acts as a hinge so you can just simply put it on the table and you can see the display stays on top and at this, at this angle basically which is pretty nice for watching uh, something or having screen content uh, on here even watching I think a film, a movie or something like this might be very interesting let's take a look, I think it looks like it has some protection foil on top of the display this is with a little hole in here and here's a hole for the camera so this is front-facing camera, it only has a front-facing camera and I'm not sure uh, how many megapixels this camera has I think 5 megapixels uh, front-facing camera the device itself has a 64 gigabytes internal space it has uh, stereo speakers as I showed you it has a microphone integrated ambient, also LED uh, ambient light here uh, that you can program if you'd like to, it has Wi-Fi, uh, A, B, G, N, A, C, Bluetooth 4.0, GPS with A, GPS of course, two USB Type-C ports, one uh, with USB OTG support and the other one only used for charging, I think this is, this is the one used for charging near the power button itself. It has the me mechanical keyboard and as you can see in this case it is the QWERTS layout, so basically the German layout uh, without uh, the um, umlaut keys, the umlaut keys are here secondary functions so you have to press down the secondary function key for performing the umlaut keys and other functions on the keyboard that you can see here and there's some special functions as well as uh, special uh, stuff that you can do just like turning on and off the device I think with the function key as well and there's a uh, Planet Gemini um, key as well, the space button there are some options here I think to raise the uh, brightness and uh, lower it or raise the volume and lower it and some media keys, playback, forward, backward um, pretty nice I think and I will play a little bit around with this uh, device and test of course the Android version on it and I will also of course install Selfish OS. there's a community version out for I think a few days already and I will also flash it on here and the cool thing is that you can just simply dual boot into Android or Selfish OS in this case and in the end of this year I think or at least near the release of Selfish OS 3.0 there will be an official Selfish X version available for the Planet Gemini PDA and of course I will also test this on this device I almost forgot it, there's a cover removal tool as well because you have to, uh, as you can see here, if you take a look around you don't have the option to see any uh, SIM removal tool to insert the SIM what you have to actually do is uh, use this cover removal tool get in here and then press down I guess in one direction and it will then open up, I have to read about it but it will open up the cover in here and underneath the cover you can find the micro SD card slot and I think the nano sim slot as well so to insert the nano sim in this case um, there is a variant available without the LTE modem so without a, the option to insert a sim just usable as a tablet or as a mini PC then um, so be aware if you like to buy this uh, Gemini PDA that there's a version out there a little bit cheaper version out there without uh, the 4G LTE support pretty nice device this is everything for this little unboxing of the Planet Gemini PDA I hope you enjoyed it and uh, thanks for watching